Hey folks, I'm Vincent Dewagin to take a look at Victorum by Scrapping Bottom Games. It's a game in which we play as an extremely powerful mage who has been hunted by an order called the Inquisition. They left him for dead, but he is obviously not, and is going to take revenge. So basically this game is going to play like an action game, you are going to use plenty of spells to defeat your enemy, to destroy their, their buildings, it's going to be pretty impressive, there is a lot of effects which are going to come with these spells. But it is also a game which is going to to have a uh, progression which is going to be a bit similar to the one we see in Faster Than Light. You are going to advance from location to location, the Inquisition is going to be uh, behind you, you are, they are going to invalidate location you will not be able to come uh, to afterward. Um, on each location you are going to be able to, to loot things, you are going to improve your mage, there is a, a lot of progression thing which we are going to take a look uh, quite soon. Yet I need to warn you that this is a game which is still in development and as such everything we are going to see today is subject to change. So I'm going to begin a new game uh, to show you a bit of the basics and then we'll load a game which is going to be more advanced so I can show you more spells and more maybe more enemies and more location. It's going to be a bit more interesting if I can show you a bit of diversity. So let's just, let's just do that. All right, let's just create a new character. There is a bunch of things we can modify. We've got three spells to choose from. We've got Firebrand, Frostbound, Tempest. I'm going to go with Firebrand because I will be able to show you Frostbound and Tempest on my other game. We've got also a bunch of level of difficulty here. We've got quite a bit. I'm going to stick to medium for now. And more importantly, there is the Hardcore mode, which is going to be quite important because this is going to enable you to unlock new spell to begin the game with. All these slots are going to be Probably extremely powerful spell which are going to change the way you are going to to fight your first battles. There is also a little bit of customization here. We can change a bunch of color on different parts of this armor here. We can also change a bit the skin. There is a few things like the hood or the air or the helmet, the strange helmet you can change. We've got also a bunch of beard and moustache. I just go through a bunch of these, but I'm still going to stick to the to the bird because even though it's not as long as it should be for a mage, it is still quite fitting. So let's just go for the birds. And basically it is all we can do on this customization screen. So we're going to begin a new game right away. Okay, so as I was saying, the game works a bit like Faster Than Light. We are going to be on a map which is going to present us different locations we can access to. Each location is going to trigger an event which we are going to resolve on a more action fashion. Let's say we are going to be able to use our spell to unleash L and destroy pretty much everything. Nonetheless, let's just go into the story and depending on the spell you are going to choose, we've, we've got a different kind of nickname. So this is a firebrand because we've got the fire spell, but it could be different if I'd taken the ice spell or the, um, the lightning spell. So, chapter 1. Stretching the limits of his power, Vingsar's last known victorum survived his own execution, but his body was warped with corruption. His mind flickered with horror. Is so above and within the death of the miasma. The Inquisition must have detected the burst of magical energy caused. It would not be long until its endless army were upon him. The way the Grand Inquisitor was marked by red nexuses on this map. The way oh the way to the Grand Inquisitor was marked by red nexuses on this map. He was responsible for what happened to Vinxar and his order, and since he did not listen, he would burn for what he had done. Okay, let's see. So uh, basically we are going to travel uh, towards uh, the red pillar of light and when we are going to be done with that we are pretty much free to go uh, wherever we want on the way. We just need to hurry because the Inquisition is going to be behind and advancing and stuff. But when we are going to reach this point we are going to be presented a second map which is going to have another pillar of light and so on until we reach the Inquisitor. It's going to give us a very good opportunity to make our mage stronger as we are going to uh, gather plenty of loot on soldiers and in buildings. So let's just choose our first destination. We are going to go to this one maybe. Let's see what's going to happen. So Almamar. So Almamar was a buzz with activities the day that things are traveled through. Many citizens were in panic, some even loading their position onto Vagan to escape the conflict the conflict that had found them. The dense fog of the day added to the bleakness of the scene, but certainly added things of discretion, save for one. A young man with short wavy blonde hair swept the entrance to a shop, quirked his head as a wizard passed. Sir, he whispered, wait. So the victorum stopped and turned his head over his shoulder to hear the man. 
The man dropped his broom with a clatter and held up with his held up his hand to disarm the fierce stare of the firebrand. They took my parents years ago on suspicion of adding your order. I want to help you, please let me trade with you. Okay. So it is a pretty good occasion to speak about what is uh, the only currency of, of Victorum. We've got uh, Magical Essence. It is very important because it's going to enable you to, to buy things from these guys. This, this guy has some uh, some cool gloves, a bunch of channel boots, uh, chess piece and also uh, a ring here. I've got very little money so I'm not sure I'm going to take anything. but. It is also important to notice that it is not always a good thing to spend your essence in buying things because you can also upgrade any piece of equipment you've got uh, with these. So you are going to gain these by disassembling equipment you are going to find on the field and you are going to also be able to uh, add uh, let's say abilities to your gear thanks to the essence. So it is a very important currency. I'm not going to buy anything so we are just going to go to our next thing. I could just show you a bit how the enchanting is working, but I could do it right away. Let's just do it quickly. So we'll just take another look later. But we have a we'll have a a very uh, quick uh, view of how it's working. So as you can see, I can enchant things to make it a ten percent better. It's working on old piece of equipment. I quite like it. It's going to cost you a bit of money. It's going to cost you. Uh, more each time so you can make uh, a piece of equipment better but only for a little bit of time because it's going to be uh, getting very expensive you can also imbue uh, abilities into it so yeah, if I had some kind of scroll I could be uh, putting it over there and it would cost me maybe 10 essence to make it so that it is going to work with that gear it's going to basically just give you uh, a new ability will be able to, to use you with your character. So let's say this this little ring here has an ability. It's giving me the ability which is called Blink, which is uh, some kind of a short range uh, teleportation. It is quite useful. Let's just maybe uh, go back to the map. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to do anything with that. So let's just uh, let him be. And we're going to keep advancing uh, to this, maybe this area here. All right, what do we have here? Uh, Stagholm. Though the corruption occasionally fogged his mind, Vincent has immediately recognized this place. Uh, Stagholm. Vincent saw an note lying crumbled on the ground. He picked up the note and read, I, Epsilon the Void Seeker, have found the secret to the eligible. Uh, my research must be kept hidden. The captured are I don't really. Uh, uh, they're coming, I know. I must eat. They can't. Okay, so it did end up badly. So a miasma storm suddenly rose up, and the raging wind ripped the parchment out of his hand. Deciding to trust the obscure nod, things are set out to kill the incoming captain. So we're going to go for that. This enemy uh, might be a bit more dangerous than regular guys, but we'll see. These guys are also not going to be able to use spells, so they might not be that dangerous. There is a, a few a few different kind of enemies. So we've got our fire spell to begin with. I'm going to dispose of my enemy right away and we'll see how things are working a bit later because I don't know if they are going to come right now or if they're going to leave me a bit of time. I need a to cast a spell. All right, let's see. I don't have a spell ready. There is a little bit of trouble which is uh, to to because of my uh, key, key binding is saying thing you should not. Let's just uh, take advantage of this spot over there and I'm going to just come on, just climb again. Can you please do that for me? Ah, maybe this bush is a bit in the way, I cannot see what I'm doing. Okay, good. And I'm going to make a quick pose to just fix that. Okay, it should be working fine now. So we've got an enemy over there. Uh, which are just a bit too fast. I can take advantage of my my time here in this village to pick up a bunch of things because all this building you can enter into these. You can you can enter in this one, for example. We're going to go in first person view to see a bit better. 
and we are going to find things so there is a new robe here we've got also a bit of LC if we need to and even more here so we'll need to come back if we are taking damage and I can also completely destroy the house it's definitely possible if I want to plus I've got a fire spell which is going to be very efficient so let's just take a look and see if we can find more things in this building I'm not going to pre just search them all because it's going to take a bit of time and it's not the most interesting thing to, to look at yet it is quite useful because it's going to enable you to find plenty of ways to deal with your enemies when you are going to create your gear okay so let's just get out of here and just uh, send a few spells on these houses there is plenty of else available but we don't really care so do we have any enemy here no not yet so basically how does this spell work we've got two ways of casting spells so we've got with left click like that so you just click on it you release it and things explode so quite straightforward but the thing is that your your mana when you trigger a spell if you pay attention to the bottom left of my screen when i keep it pressed the mana is going to to go low and if i uh, reach the point where i do not have any more mana it's going to burn my health so important to be careful about that it is even more important because when you are going to try to shape your spells you've got a few things you can do so let's just uh, take a look at the really basic way my uh, spell is uh, set up so we can uh, right click and we've got three different things we've got multi shot high explosive and high velocity i'm going to just uh, throw it like that and i'm going to show you each of these when i've got all my mana available so basically if i go with multi shot it's going to be very easy it's going to give me uh, multiple fireball here so quite efficient if i go with high explosive obviously the explosion is going to be much bigger all right and if i go with high velocity the fireball is going to be much faster all right and what is cool is that i can go with uh, all of these if i want to and it's going to be something which is going to be much more dangerous but it is also going to take me a bit more time to do it so i might uh, be burning a bit of my own health and what is also very powerful is that if we go into the options you see these three things are basically let's say gems they are runes you can actually uh, put into your your fireball tome and it's going to be possible for you to find more and change them so you can uh, basically uh, modify your spell to make these work in the way you prefer and to make these even more deadly you will need to find more runes so let's just advance a bit we've got a bunch of enemies to kill these are going to be pretty basic enemies but they are still going to become dangerous at some point oh here they come so these guys they are some kind of uh, magical creatures and they are seemingly willing to kill me oh i don't have any more mana so what i can do here if i want to evade a bit is to use my tp spell to get to high place and not let them damage me because they can actually do a bit of damage here they come and when you've got the high ground it's fairly easy to deal with these guys just use a bunch of spells make them burn and is it dead no it's not now it's come on buddy just die got more important things to do here and there is more over there and if you combine your spell well you can pretty much shoot everything from four let's just go i don't want to get too close i'm going to go with high velocity and high explosive i'm going to try to get the guy over there so you can shoot pretty far it's a bit too far oh no i got them let's just do that again high explosive i've been putting a bit of yes of multi shot as well without noticing let's just try to kill them before they reach me if i miss like that it's not going to happen all right because this one seems to be a bit more dangerous so i might be willing to 